Hey guys, Alexander here. And in this video, I will be covering how we derive the moment generating function for the normal distribution. So a brief reminder, if a random variable x is distributed as normal with a mean mu and a variance of sigma squared, then f of x, which is the PDF of x, is given by the following function. 1 over square root 2 pi sigma e to the negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. And a reminder again about what the moment generating function is by definition. It's the expected value of e to the tx, which is equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity for the normal distribution of e to the tx multiplied by 1 over square root 2 pi sigma e to the negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared dx. Now, the first thing that we should notice is that we have these two exponential functions that we can multiply out with each other. So what the integral then becomes is the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity. Let's just focus on the exponent tx and this one over here, and let's simplify them. So we will have e to the tx over one minus x minus mu squared over two sigma squared. I personally like to take this minus and just bring it in here just to make life a bit easier. So let's try to get these two, subtract these two fractions from each other. So we will do the bow tie rule. So what we're going to end up with is this numerator becomes x squared minus two mu x plus mu squared minus 2 sigma squared tx, all of this divided by negative 2 sigma squared. Now, let's ignore the negative 2 sigma squared for a moment, and let's focus on this function here. Clearly, we can see that this is a quadratic function. It is quadratic. So we can factorize it with the rule that a times x plus b over 2a squared plus 4ac minus b squared over 4a. We can see that a is going to be equal to 1, b is equal to 2 times mu, excuse me, b is negative 2, because we have the negative here, 2 times mu plus sigma squared t, and c is equal to mu squared. So let's plug this into the formula. Then we end up with, since a is 1, we're going to simply have x plus negative 2 times mu plus sigma squared t divided by 2 times a, and a is 1, so it's 2 squared plus 4ac minus b squared All of this divided by 4a. Now let's simplify the part in the brackets first. So we end up with x minus mu plus sigma squared t squared. Over here, we can bring this minus 2 out, but first we have to square it. So then we can cancel all these 4s out. So what we end up with is plus mu squared minus mu squared and then we have to, so we have mu squared minus 2 mu sigma squared t plus sigma to the power 4 t squared. And as we can see, these will cancel out and then we are left with this part that is squared and that looks very familiar to part attached to the exponential, the exponent here. 
uh, number e. So since this is also of the form x minus some constant squared, and this is also going to be some constant, then we can say that we will rewrite our PDF as the form of a normally distributed random variable with a mean of mu plus sigma squared t and a variance of sigma squared. So let's go do that. So from the results that we have, we can start plugging in here. We have the expected value of e to the tx, which is the normal generator, is equal to 1 over square root 2 pi sigma multiplied by e to the negative 1 over 2 sigma squared times by, and at the top, we have this result from here, which we can just put it in here, x minus mu plus sigma squared t squared, don't forget the square, and we also have multiplied by e to the negative, the constants that remain here, just copy them and get them over here. We still need to remind ourselves that we have to divide by these these results by two sigma squared, and don't forget this exponent here that is from this part because it's negative two sigma squared that we were dividing with. So this negative and this negative cancel out, so that leaves us with. e to the mu t plus a half sigma squared t squared on the right hand side. So we can see that this cancels with this, this cancels with this, and this exponent becomes squared. And these two negatives multiply and become a positive. So we have this constant then multiplied by this in inside this integral square root 2 pi sigma e to the negative it's going to ignore this so x minus mu plus sigma squared t over 2 sigma squared and don't forget the squared over here multiplied by this and we can see that this is simply the probability density function for a random variable x that is distributed as normal with the mean of mu plus sigma squared t but the variance is still sigma squared and where we can we see the mean we can see it due to this part inside the square squared brackets we always subtract the mean from x and then we square it so this is how we got the mean and that means if we bring out the constants of e to the mu t plus a half sigma squared t squared multiplied by this integral Let's not forget the dx. Then this integral is simply the integral over the entire support of f of x dx. And we know that this integral must resolve to 1. So we are left with the expected value of e to the tx, which is equal to phi x of t which is equal to mx of t, the moment generating function, is going to be e to the mu t plus a half sigma squared t squared for all t. We don't need to worry about the value that t takes. 
So this is how we derive the moment generating function for the normal distribution. The key takeaway here is you need to remember your high school algebra and you need to remember in particular the quadratic formula and how to convert this quadratic function into this form using the quadratic formula. And once you have done that, you can easily rewrite this integral as the integral of some constant, which is this part here, multiplied by a probability density function of a normal random variable, a new uh, normal random variable with a different mean of mu plus sigma squared t. And since you're integrating over the entire support, that means from negative infinity to positive infinity of this probability density function uh, for this normal random variable, you know that that integral is simply going to evaluate to one. And since we can bring the constants outside the integral, then we know that, that the expected value of e to the tx, which is the moment generating function for x, which is a normally distributed random variable, is e to the mu t plus a half sigma squared t squared. I hope this has helped you to uh, be able to derive the moment generating function. I do recommend that you take a piece of paper, sit down and practice it yourself because learning is not just by watching, it's also by doing. So sit down, practice it for yourself, and then you'll be able to derive the moment generating function for the normal distribution. Thank you for watching. Boer Commander, out.